Welcome back to Immortal Empires. Today we're going to be playing some more Lifanar. And at the end of the last episode, Malekith just uh, did decide to show himself. And has actually got himself in a position where we have no armies nearby whatsoever. We have a Lifanar up to the north and then our other two or three armies down here. But we are in a little bit of a difficult situation. So what are we going to do here? Now I think... If we're thinking about gaining land, Alifanar could go to the Altar of Ultimate Darkness, work his way down here, and take advantage of this situation. However, we still need an army to go ahead and deal with Malekith, which I don't know if we have right now. There's an army here, so Sail's going to be dealing with this army. We also have Leia down here, and she's going to be dealing with Marathi. So that leaves us with Gilgalion. We are currently recruiting an army here. We've got some allied recruitment going on. I don't think we can recruit anymore. Yeah, we can only have four allied units in an army, which is a little bit of a shame. However, I think we should be fine. So what we should do with Gilgalion is probably continue recruiting an army here. To go ahead and deal with Malekith. Because he's... What's the garrison like on Hagrief? We might not be able to hold it much longer. Right, Gilgalion. I'm going to move you just a little bit closer. Because we can still get our recruitment in from uh, the monoliths here. We go ahead and just sit somewhere like there. That should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit some more units, of course. Uh, global recruitment is only available while... <sighs> I don't have in-camp stance. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. These small details I always forget. Let's go ahead and get some more Lothan Sea Guard. That was the idea with this army. We're going to stack those bonuses and hopefully there'll be a strong contender for Malekith. Now, Alifanar, I think we're going to continue on the aggressive path here. They don't really have an army there. We could go into the Shadow Realm pathways here. Let's go ahead and do that, and we'll position ourselves just the here, and we'll be able to attack the Altar of Ultimate Darkness next turn. Uh, I can get behind a plan like that. As for Sail, Master do you think we could take on this army? My they are in raid faith. stance, so they're going to be winded in battle, which will come in handy. They have some Demonets of Slanesh here. That's a lot of ranged units. We also have a lot of ranged units. But Dark Shards are particularly scary, aren't they? Hmm. What about Marathi? She's at insolence. sea, so we won't get any reinforcements. Let's Sathory wait off on that one. Servant. I think we're going to have to fight this decree. army. So let's go I ahead and do that. It's actually given us a decisive fire. victory there. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had as much confidence as the auto resolve. Uh, let's take the auto resolve victory. Uh, very nice. In fact, we, we took hardly any casualties. Now, if I fought that manually, I don't think I would have got the, the same result. I think I could have won, but probably would have taken a lot of casualties. So we gained 4,000 XP there, 2,900 gold. Let's go ahead and take the extra gold. That'll come in useful. And then what we can do a sale, because we have a little bit of freedom here. Yeah, there's no real other armies nearby at the moment. I'm going to bring her down here to help fight against Marathi if that time comes. Let's go ahead and level you up as well. We're done with the blue tree. What we could do... What's all this up here? Upkeep for Phoenix Guard units? Okay. Swords... Oh, wow. Well, what units are you using? You're mostly just using archers and spearmen, but... We could always replace this army in future for more high tier units. Such as Lothan Sea Guards. That's, or we could just get this upkeep for spearmen, rangers, and archer units. They would be beneficial now rather than re. Let's just get what's useful now, I think. Uh, we're going to have some very powerful spearmen and, and archer units in this army, it seems. We'll go ahead with that. I don't think they're bad units. I mean, they've been serving us well so far, so that's fine. Uh, somewhere, we have an assassin as, as well. Uh, Aramir over here. Our plan was... Oh, we're going to take him over to Malekith, weren't we? We could assassinate Malekith if we want to. We also have four turns until we get some new targets as well, though. Right, let's go ahead and do some building. We've got 12,000 gold here to spend. No, I think over here, uh, a tier 3 settlement would be very nice. Also, let's get those garrisons improved as well. What should we build here? The plan for this one was to go income. We've already got some income going. 
what we could do is get income from trade and all ports. We have three ports. No, two ports here. So I think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and get a, an elven embassy. We'll go ahead and upgrade you as well. That's all looking fine and dandy. Anything going on up here? Clark Carond can get an upgrade. Well, what I'm going to do here then... Let's get a woodsman hut going. That should just help things down. We've run out of gold. <laughs> That's fine. Let's check the diplomacy instead then. Consort. We're going to have to get some gold. Hopefully fighting Malekith will offer plenty of that. Let's go ahead to turn 58. Okay, Malekith has decided to attack Hagagrief. Now, I believe we have walls here. If we do, then we might be able to defend this. Although it's not the best army, is it? What I'm worried about is this is a very good army. And they do have Malekith himself. However, if the victory point is up here, maybe we can somehow get them into a choke point battle and we might be able to win if we face them a little at a time. So I will go ahead and fight this battle and maybe, just maybe, we can turn this close defeat around or at least try and damage Malekith's army a little bit here. Okay, so the victory point is in fact a nice little choke point here. Now there's going to be... Oh no, this is very nice. Okay, so there's only really two entrances and they're both over here. So we could in fact sell up a, a very mighty spear wall defense here. We could also get some barricades if we want to. Do we have any towers over here? We have one tower at the very back. Okay, so we're going to be restricted to that one tower by the looks of it. But if we we might even be able to hold on to this. In fact... I think this is also very manageable here. So we could build this tower and have the tower at the back. So we hold the, the victory point, but not just that. We also hold this capture point as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a tower here. Oh, wait, can they get up through there? I have a feeling they can't. Although knowing my luck, I mean, you could walk up there. I don't think so, right? You have to walk away the long way. Otherwise, it's way too easy to get to that capture point. I'm going to gamble and say they can't walk up here. Hopefully, that doesn't bite me. Uh, do we want a piercing tower or a piercing tower 2? What's the difference? Uh, 17 missile damage, 4 missiles. That's 104. Uh, 50 armor piercing, 30. Reload times the same. Okay, we're going to get the upgraded one. Why not? Uh, I like the sound of that. Right. Here's our army. There's our spearmen. And there's our ranged. That's not a lot. Ah, Loth and Seaguard with shields. There's our ranged. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do here then is for now, let's just do something like this. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, we need some spearmen back up here as well. Let's just get a, a second group in behind it just in be case done. we need them to hold. And then this Lothan Seaguard with spears, they can also act as in a defense Lothan as well if we need them. Right, let's go ahead and get these archers over here. That should be fine. And then back here, we got archers. two more archers just in case. we Actually, we only need All one because the Lothan Seaguards act as archers Without as well. Fail. So in fact, let's just do something like this. That should be very nice. We could actually... We can also sit them up here. We will obey. I just realized Acknowledged. we have some mounting points here. I don't think we... Yeah, no done. mounting points here. We might be able to shoot down here, though. We might be able to. Uh, but for now, let's just do maybe something like this. Uh, because there's no point having our melee in range when they're not going to be here a while. So let's just go ahead and do something like this. All right, we're going to start the battle. Of course, as always, there will be timestamps if you uh, want to skip past this one. But we should be fine. Right. So we've got the enemy over here coming from the west. We've also got plenty of enemies over in the north to worry about. And we do actually have some flying units also who are ranged. So we've got to keep an eye on those. And of course, over on this flank, uh, we have Malekith, who is on a dragon. Oh dear, <laughs> for some reason, uh, suddenly, I'm not as confident in our defense plans. However, uh, I, I think it's possible, right. So we've got a Pierce Tower 2, let's keep it like that. Uh, and when we get another 900 resources, we can go ahead and build up that second Pierce 2 Tower here as well. We could also get, let's see, we could also get a Magic Tower, that costs 2,000. It's very expensive. 
for now, we could just keep it on the Pierce, though, because we know we can afford that uh, without too much effort. Let's go ahead and speed things up. I think we're going to want to speed up the assault here. Is this also a victory point? No. I think this is the main victory point. There we go. I'm still somewhat learning how siege battles work. So they have managed to dock the walls. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to sit here patiently. And the good news is we are managed to get some fire down over here already. Hopefully we don't expend too much ammunition here though. Dealing with all of these units. That's also a thought we have to think about. Our towers are also hitting someone. Ah. That's what's happening here. The enemy ranged are... Uh, in fact, in range. Right, let's go ahead and move these spearmen back. We don't need you guys quite there yet. And what I might do is just turn you guys around. Maybe you can go ahead and deal with these guys. In fact, that's what I'm going to tell you to do. If you can fire on them and wipe them out, that would be beautiful. We've already got a tower hitting them, which is useful. It's a very sneaky move there. Balance the tower, certainly not in our favour, but uh, we might be able to turn it around. Uh, if we aren't, at least we can get some damage off. Right, let's go ahead and speed things up a bit, otherwise we're going to be here. Uh, by the time Total War Warhammer 4 comes out. Uh, there we go. Are they going to break? So they have broken. Whether they come back or not, we'll have to see, though. We just got to keep an eye on here. Malekith will be coming from this flank, so we have to keep an eye on that. Let's not forget. Let's go ahead and move these guys back up here. We will obey. So at the very least, uh, we can block any uh, units that we might not see coming from this direction. Uh, we're already dealing with some dark shards there, which is nice to see. They decided to get themselves up on the wall uh, and not do much else. So we are dealing with those units. And uh, there we go, we did lose the gates over here. I think what we might have to do... Especially with these three units. If Malekith's coming from this direction, let's get some ranged units ready to deal with that. We're, we're gonna have to focus on that. These guys, these two units, if you just keep firing over there, that's fine. Uh, you guys, though. When the enemy come from this direction, we're gonna have to deal with that as well. Uh, we have 2,000 supply points, so what we can do is go ahead and get that magic tower uh, online, and that would be very nice. We could also upgrade this one to a magic tower in future. We need 1,550 points, so that is something to keep in mind there. And Malekith is coming, right. What I'm gonna have to tell everyone to do is let's focus Malekith. The sooner we can get him down and out of the battle, the better, if it's possible, of course. Right now, it doesn't seem to me like he's taken too much damage at all. Oh my god, so I've already got some ammunition issues there. Oh wow, that's going to do a lot of damage to our spears. Are we even doing any damage to Malekith here? Very minimal damage, right. Hopefully he engages with uh, some of our melee units here and not our range. No, he's engaged with the range units. Right, Spears, if you come in and hit Malekith, uh, that would be really, really <laughs> appreciated. He's wanting to chase these ranged units, which I, I'm not a fan of. In fact, okay, you guys come over here then. Uh, that's what we're going to have to do here. You guys plug the hole. Because no doubt his reinforcements will be arriving very soon. And in fact, we can see them there. So let's go ahead and get some of that action going down. And then we're going to tell everyone else to turn and shoot. Uh, you guys actually keep going there, though. That should be fine. We've done a little bit of damage to Malekif. It's not looking good, though, is it? You guys as well. Get off the walls. And you're not going to be doing very much there. In fact, you're taking damage from uh, the enemy ranged units. So definitely don't do that. Get your... Get your butts over here. That should be fine. We could upgrade this tower. Let's go ahead and do that for 950 points. That should just help us get a little bit of extra damage on. And already we're we're losing we're losing spearmen. our spearmen. We're gonna have to engage with some more melee units, I think. I think I was very optimistic when I thought that we might actually have a chance here. And then these spearmen, you're gonna have to engage over there ASAP. Yeah, this spearman unit's gone. Sadly, that seems like it's going to be the way of things. Oh dear. Let's go ahead and speed things up. Uh, I don't think there's uh, 
yeah, I'm realizing now that really there was no hope, was there? <laughs> we might be able to burn Malekith down, I don't know. He's at half health. If we could get a kill on Malekith at least, maybe uh, that's something we could get out of this battle. However, it's not looking very promising. It's fine. You learn by experimentation, as I say often enough. Uh, and we've realized that this particular experiment is not really working. He is at half health, though. So we can get another army in here to deal with him. Uh, it could be something that works in the future. We'll have to see. Yeah, you guys are rallying again. If you just get back in and try and kill Malekith, that would be nice. What I need to do, if we slow this down... Like, do I have any melee units left? Not really. So the enemy are going to be coming in behind us here as well. And the balance of power is only looking worse and worse. Uh, in fact, <laughs> all of our army has retreated. And that is going to be a close defeat. Just as the auto resolve predicted. So there we go then. We lost 466 models. But the army is going to be wiped out because it's a garrison. That's fine. Malekith 172 kills. This archer unit got in plenty of kills there. Again, Malekith just a bit too strong for us. But if we go in and send in our new army, I think we could wipe him out. And we do have that assassin just in case as well. And there we go. We did end up losing that battle. So Malekith is very likely uh, to just go ahead and occupy that. That's fine. We experimented. We lost. And now we know next time that we can't really hold off with just a, a force as small as that one. Uh, games are all about learning and having fun. And that's what we've done there. There we go. Our grief was sacked, but I think, yeah, uh, Malekith also went ahead and occupied it as well. Well, we, we will take it back. Don't you worry, guys. Uh, capture and occupy the following settlement, the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. Well, that's a good uh, good job that we got this mission, because that was our plan anyway. Sometimes, Total War uh, gives us exactly what we want. Now, you're recruiting more units. That's a garrison, quite a big one, one uh, in fact, and we're not exactly at full health. So let's go ahead and wipe out this army first. That will give us a decisive victory, so I can safely auto-resolve this one. And I will go ahead and get that just tiny, tiny bit of replenishment, because that will help us in the battle. Uh, a Crashian Scout. Okay. Ooh, Giant Blade, plus 15% weapon strength and plus 10 bonus versus infantry. We should go ahead and put that on one of our uh, other lords there. And we've also got the Ever Queen's Court Guards, a Sisters of Avalorn unit. Only the purest of heart may serve the Ever Queen. And the Keepers of Flame, which is a Phoenix Guard. The Silent Sentinels Guard for Shrine of Asaurian. We need to go ahead and recruit more regiments of renown, actually. Of the In fact, we could get rid of one of our damage units and do that very thing. What are we doing with Lifanar? We're going down the red tree. Let's continue with that plan. Now, what regiment of renowned units do we have? We can't see because we need to be in in-camp stance, right? Dances, so shall of course I. we do. Learn. Can I recruit now? No. <laughs> we need to be in friendly territory, I think. Okay, uh, in that case, we're going to attack the altar of ultimate darkness. It's given us a close victory, and we wouldn't lose any units. So let's go ahead and auto resolve this one. 3000 XP and the 1400 gold. And I think in this case, we will loot and occupy so we can get that bonus replenishment uh, underway. And we've completed that quest there, which is nice to see. Not Let's go ahead and uh, level up a Lifanar again. So we've got Bowmasters. We now have plus 20% ammunition and plus 8% reload time reduction for Archers, Lothan Sea Guards, Shadow Warriors, Shadow Walkers, Sisters of Athlon, and the Bolt Thrower units. Do we have anything else that buffs these guys? I don't think we do. So the question is now, what do we want to buff? Probably this. Uh, melee defense for spearmen, silvering guard, rangers, archers, and Lothan sea guard units. We could use Lothan sea guards as our front line, the ones with spears. So let's go ahead and start going down militia master. I like that in fact, but what do we have up here? Nothing incredibly impressive. I just realized Alifanar doesn't gain access to a mount. We could also go down this tree, but let's make our, our army more powerful first because we have more of them than we do have Alifanar. Regiments of Renown, that's what I was looking for. So we do have a Spearman Regiment of Renown unit here. So we could go ahead and recruit those if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and merge you guys. Now we'll go ahead and recruit the Scions of Maflan. Oh, our gold income isn't looking so good now, though. 
Oh, that's a really problematic, actually. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't think that far ahead. Let's hold off on regiments of renowned units for now, then. If we go down to... Gilgalion... We might have one too many armies. In fact, I'm sure we do. Where's Marathi? There's Marathi. Okay, this should be a very easy battle then. If I come in like this, and then Leia, if you initiate the attack. In fact, no, I don't want Leia to initiate the attack. I want Sail to initiate the attack because you're more experienced. So if we go in like this, that should be a very easy win against Marathi there. Or oh, we would lose a Tree King. Leadership plus eight. What else do we have? Leadership plus four. Let's give you the plus eight. And then the plus four, I guess we can just give to a spearman unit. Keep them in battle a little bit longer. Would we still lose a tree king? We would. We didn't get the ambush, which is unfortunate. We could always just recruit another tree king, though. It's only... It's only... Um, Allegiance points anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I will just go ahead and auto resolve that. That's fine. 5,000 XP, 4,500 gold. Let's take the extra 1,500 gold because we are in a little bit of an income issue here. And hero action cost minus 10% and hero self-defense plus 10% chance of wounding aggressors. That's heroes in the local province and all heroes. That's a nice trait there. And we also gained a sword of battle, which we can go ahead and give to one of our units. Right, let's go ahead and level up sail. She's level 15 now, so what I'm going to do with her is also start going down her reg tree. Let's do that. And then which units are you using? You have a very basic army. We did go for spearmen and archers as well. So let's go ahead and get bowmaster. We can start buffing all those archers. And then for Leia Quinn, root marcher here. And let's get that. What did I do for the others? Ambush defense chance for the others. I think we'll, we'll go down that route again and then just one perk into the recruitment cost should be fine. Okay, Sail, what I want to do with you now is actually march you all the way north. You're going to be the one, I think, that has to deal with Malekith. And then Leia Quinn, you're just going to sit in here and look pretty and act as a scout because we do have a, a Dark Elf army here. Although Tyrion is likely to deal with them personally. So we might even be able to disband you, but let's hold off on that just yet. We don't want to do that uh, if we absolutely don't have to. Now, I am going to recruit some units here, though. Regiment Renown units are very expensive. And again, so are Lothan Sea Guards. <laughs> am I still going to recruit them? Probably. Let's go to Preparing Incamp. Town. It's very expensive. However... We need an army. So let's continue with the Lothan Sea Guard plan. It's not going to help the economy, but that's fine. What could help the economy is some building upgrades. Which we don't have. Oh, Clackerond, maybe. It's not helping our income there, though, is it? What about up here? Harkow Draw. No economy going on there. I think it's safer to... Uh, this army might be a bit problematic, though. What's the garrison like here? Yeah, there's not much of a garrison. So let's hold off on the building right now, I think. Just because these don't look very safe. We could repair all of this, though. City tunnels. We don't need that. We also don't need the embassy. I will go ahead and keep the, the Elven Fairground, though. That should boost our economy once it's repaired up next turn. Right, uh, how's the diplomacy looking? Consort. At your Not good. Uh, there's just simply no diplomacy happening. Okay, let's go to turn 59. Wait, no. Ah, I bet you guys forgot as well. Aramir here. Uh, just in case, you're going to sit near Malekith and keep an eye on him. Now we can go to turn 59. I will not entertain drooky scum in my presence. I very much agree with you there, Alifana. We will not uh, <laughs> put up with the drooky scum. Uh, Ulfron will be ours or we will burn it to the ground. Good luck with that. I think the High Elves are very much more powerful. Do you declare war? This faction has declared war on you. Well, I can tell you now, uh, you're going to have the wrath of my allies. Where are you guys? Up here, one settlement. Really? 
is that really what you want to do? <laughs> uh, we'll call our allies in to help, why not? Uh, there we go, we are joined by all of the high elves here, uh, which is a very nice, uh, and they all love us if we look at that. Uh, <laughs> good luck with that. And there we go, mission successful. Be at war with the following faction. Oh, that was a mission? I must have missed that. I think we might have had that from the style of the game, maybe. Um, our income not looking too bad. Only minus 161. Which is good. And we're not bankrupt. We have 10,000 to spare. So we're not going to be taking attrition. Let's go back to Elifanar. If we want to get gold, I know one good way of doing that. Either kill armies or take settlements. No. Will Harkaldra be safe? Because I want to go down to the Elder Spire and the Dracula Spire. Kateps moved in here. Oh, this is looking good. This is not looking good. Alifana, before we go west, I think we should go back east uh, and deal with this army. It's going to be problematic to us otherwise. I feel there we go. We're going to get some decent replenishment. That's fine. We're in force march, which sucks, but we have the numbers. Malekith's dragon scares me. It very much does. We don't have to assassinate him, I don't think. But I will just keep nearby in case we decide to do such a thing. I don't use heroes enough, I feel like. I really should use them more often, shouldn't I? Now, are there any other Dark Elf armies to be worried about? We will have some coming from the north. Down here, though, it looks like the Sisters of Twilight might have been able to regain some strength. Um, they got plenty of heroes here. Not an army, though. That's fine. I, I believe they can rebuild. An army coming down there. Right, sail. So what I was looking there is, are you free to go north? You are free to go north. So let's take you up to Hagrief. And you're going to retake this. Thanks to Malekith. Now, Gilgalion, you're going to go north. Because Your will is done. we need to get some eyes up here and make sure they don't sail down and take the Black Light Tower because it is a port city. What we're also going to do is just recruit two more units. Do I want some units that are capable of flanking? I might. What options do we have? So we have the Silver Helms. I don't want chariots, I don't think. I very much want cavalry. So we've got Illyrian Reavers, Silver Helms, or Silver Helms with shields. What's the difference here? Obviously a shield. Uh, a much better melee defense. The order stats are the same. It's just that extra melee defense. So I kind of want to take these then. So let's get two silver, two silver Helm with shields. And they can be some flanking units. I'm sure that will make some of you happy. I don't use them enough. Now, Leia Quinn, you're sitting down here. We could do with another Treekin to replace the one we lost. So let's go ahead and do that. And then what I think we also need, again. Hmm, I'm, I'm cautious about doing this. We're going to lose money. A lot of it. But I think I'm going to get some Silver Helms in this army as well. Some flanking units. We've got to learn uh, to use them at some point. Because they do look cool. Now, the Circle of Destruction can get an upgrade. Let's go ahead and build some money. We very much need it. We very, very much need it. And then up in Nagarond, we could upgrade to Tier 3. We're running low on gold, though. Harkaldra, we can safely build some economy there. So let's do that. The Ultimate of ult Ultimate Darkness. Meh. Wait, income from trade tariffs plus 5%. Oh, we should have kept the Elven Embassy. Oh, we should be stacking that. Income from trade tariffs? Can I see the breakdown of how much buff we're getting from that as well? If I click this, I don't think we can, right? Uh, trade. Do I see my trade buffs anywhere? I don't think so. It's fine. Uh, I'm sure there's a way we'll work it out eventually. Right, let's check the diplomacy. Woman. Nothing no going on here, so let's go on over to turn 60. Already on turn 60. Wow, time flies. Come in peace. Perhaps you may even leave Nagareth that way too. Lord Mazda Mundi have ended their non-aggression pact with us. Why do you hate us? Because we're a strategic threat. Is that all? 
But look, we have treaties with you, military action, uh, action against the cult of pleasure. Um, he just doesn't like us because we're a strategic threat. He's very powerful and I'm very powerful. Uh, so uh, we might have to deal with the lizard men soon. That's not what I wanted to say. Follower gained, Gilgalian. What's this? Oh, he gained a herb list. Okay, I thought we gained Gilgalian as a follower, and I was really confused. Mystery meat. So for four turns, minus 25% campaign movement range, but plus 15% replenishment. Uh, that's not a trade-off I'm, I'm fond of. Uh, but sadly, that's all we have time for in today's episode. So we go ahead and, and get an overview. This army's run off to the north. They're going to be taking attrition damage. Malekith is very much looking on the back foot. Once we deal with him and take his remaining lands, problem solved. Katep is looking to grow a little bit as well. He might even take these lands for himself. Uh, as we go south, the sisters are twilight. Uh, they're not looking safe yet. There's two more dark elf armies coming from the south. Oh, there's a Noctilus army as well. Um, basically, I think Marathi is looking much weaker than what she was in the last episode. We've also got some conflict over here going on with the high elves and such as well. So I think in general, for us, things are looking much better. Which is what I'm trying to say. But that's it for today. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for your patience over the last couple of weeks. Of course, with all the building work going on next door, it can be difficult to find time to record. And I have set myself quite a, a full schedule. I think we upload like nine times a week or something like this. So <laughs> it can be hard to find that time to record but thank you again for your patience and all the supportive words you leave but that's it for today i'll be back tomorrow with the next one thank you for watching and i'll see you next time